we've all been told that we need to produce original content in order to drive more organic traffic to our website. But if you've been adding blogs yourself and not seeing the results you want, it's probably because you're missing some of the crucial steps to creating excellent blog posts that actually will be ranked high by Google. I'm Samantha Russell from 20 over 10, and today I'm gonna to give you five really practical tips that if you implement will make a huge difference in how high your blog post is being ranked for the keywords that you want it to rank for. So let's dive right in. Tip number one, make sure that your blog posts are at least 1800 to 2400 words. Google wants to see high quality content that goes really in depth and deep on a particular granular topic. So make sure you're choosing a topic that isn't too broad, but that instead is very, very specific and answers one question or addresses one problem and that you can go really deep into it, take a deep dive. I suggest Googling whatever it is you're going to be writing about and looking at what some of the top 20 results are that you see and look and see what types of items they're addressing about this topic and then try to make yours go even further because there's obviously gonna be things missing in some of these other posts. And so if you can fill those gaps, your content will rank even higher. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, you wanna make sure that you're adding visuals to the blogs. So whenever you're adding a new piece of content to your site, whether it's a podcast, a video, or an actual blog post, you wanna make sure that you also include really great visuals, whether it's a graph or an image of some sort. Number one, our brains process imagery 60,000 times faster than text. So we really enjoy visuals and it makes it for a more pleasant experience and you might get more shares and likes on your content as well. But number two, the search engine allows you to add what's called an alternative um, text tag to your images, which is another great way to put keywords in that can help your page rank higher for a particular term. Now, you heard me mention podcast and video. Regardless of what form of content you're adding, even if you're adding a podcast or a video, you still want to make sure you put the full transcription of whatever it is you're adding in that blog post. So if you add a podcast or a video, transcribe the whole thing and upload it as well, all of that text. And that's just because Google cannot crawl an audio file or a video file, it can only crawl a text file. Okay, number three. Make sure that you divide your long form post into sections. We like to scroll and scan when we're reading content and when something catches our eye, we then stop and read more about it. Just like in today's video, I'm dividing it into five sections for you. So when I go and transcribe this video, I'll have five what we call headers that are breaking this full piece of information into five sections. You wanna do that with every piece of content you put out. You don't need to actually assign a number to each of them, but make sure you're dividing them into sections so that people can easily scan it. Additionally, when you're dividing it up, whatever uh, platform you're using here at 20 over 10 in our content management system, you'll see you can add what's called header tags. Same thing on WordPress or other website platforms. Those headers, the bigger the text you make it, the more important you're telling Google those keywords are on the page. So if you're using an H2 or an H3 tag to divide your content up, you're telling Google that those sections um, that you are putting those keywords in are more important. So that's a great place to put the keywords that you want to rank for in that blog post as well in those sections. Okay, tip number four, you make sure you build links. So of course you wanna to try to get other people to link back to your content and building external links is a whole separate strategy, but just you yourself want to have a great internal linking strategy for any new piece of content you put out. So what I mean by this is, let's say you're writing a blog post about the mega backdoor Roth IRA, and you already have other blog posts about traditional versus Roth IRAs. You wanna go back to those blog posts and link to this new piece of content that you've added. Then you also want to take this blog post that you, you're writing and link back to your old post as well. This is called an internal linking strategy, and it's a great way to allow the search engine to crawl your entire page much more easily. It also keeps people reading your blog post on your site longer because there might be something you're linking to that they wanna go learn more information about. So make sure that you add links. And tip number five, 
when you're doing all of this work, you really want to make sure you're doing it often enough to see the results that you want. So yes, quality over quantity really is the name of the game when it comes to adding blog posts to your own website. But I suggest at least two times a month that you do this. So if you can get in the habit of at least two times a month writing this 1800 to 2400 really in-depth article on one topic and then doing all of these other things that I mentioned, you will see results from this strategy. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you already know some of these things, let us know in the comments below if you're already doing them. If all of this was new to you, let us know that too. That also helps us create further content in the future that's gonna be most helpful to our viewers. We don't wanna just regurgitate the same things over and over again. Again, I'm Samantha Russell from 20 Over 10, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a marketing tip like this every single week. Thanks.